Christians sing to hear the news the angels bring. On Christmas night, all Christians sing to hear the news the angels bring. News of great joy, news of great love, news of a merciful King's birth. The King of Kings to us is given, the Lord of earth and King of heaven. The King of Kings to us is given, the Lord of earth and King of heaven. Angels and men with joy may sing, oh bless Jesus the newborn King. Then why should men on earth be so sad, since our Redeemer made us glad? Then why should men on earth be so sad, since our Redeemer made us glad? When from our sin he sets us free, all for to gain our liberty. All out of darkness we have light, which made the angels sing this night. All out of darkness we have light, which made the angels sing this night. Glory to God and peace to man, now and forevermore. Amen. My pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to this evening to our service of nine carols and lessons being hosted by the parish here at Corowa and by contribution and absolute pleasure to welcome Swell Vox once more to this special service which is held once a year. Because we have come out of COVID lockdown and all sorts of things have happened this year and most of us are without masks, you are allowed to sing. And during the service, two particular songs come to mind, and that's O Little Town of Bethlehem and O Come All Ye Faithful. So when those come up, you are more than welcome to join Swell Vox in singing those particular hymns. Let us pray. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to celebrate the great festival of Christmas. In this Christmas, we hear and receive the good news of the birth of Christ. We offer to God our thanksgiving in the joyful singing of carols. As we gather together in the name of Christ, we pray for the world he came to save, for the church, that it may be enabled in our generation to surrender anew to God's holy wisdom and bear good, the good news of God's love to a needy world. For the world, which is already Christ, that all its peoples may recognize their responsibility for its future and may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom and peace everywhere. For all in special need, the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful and the bereaved, that the peace and light of Christ's child may bring hope and healing to all who sit in darkness. We commend all whom we love or who have asked for our prayers to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father and say together as Christ himself taught us the Lord's Prayer, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The first lesson is from Isaiah. But there will be no gloom for those who were in anguish. 
In the former time, he brought into contempt the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the latter time, he will make glorious the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
The second lesson is from Isaiah 11, 1 to 9. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, Start again. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of its, his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Oh, 
In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she had, was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, and she was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
Paul's the list in, from Luke. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, and why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfilment of what was spoken to her by the Lord.
fifth lesson. A reading from Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee in Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver the child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The uh, warmth of today reminds us that summer is here. A time for joy, a time for rejoicing, a time to get out into the fields, a time for harvest. It's a time when warmth fills the air and when all things come to bloom. It's also the time of year where we gather together here to celebrate the birth of the Christ child. We celebrate that hope, that joy, that love, that peace which comes with the Incarnation. We celebrate it here in carols, we celebrate it throughout this festive season in our hearts and in our various services where we express our joy before God. But that joy needs to be taken out into the world. We are here at the beginning of a new season in all sorts of ways. A new season in the fact that we're here without masks on. A new season where COVID is rampant in New South Wales and here in Korowa. And yet it's a time when we need to have hope for the future. It's a time when we need to understand that, yes, we've lived through all sorts of difficult times in the last couple of years, 18 months, if not longer. But this time is a time of turning and a time of joy. Because we're sort of returning to what will be our normality. It won't be the old normality, it will be a new reality, a new life. A new life which comes with the incarnation of Christ, a new life which comes with hope, with understanding, with peace, with all those ancillary things which come with the Creator God's presence amongst us. And as we consider that, and as we go out this evening and later on throughout the festive season, we need to remind ourselves that that is what it's about. That is what we are about, and that is what we need to celebrate in our communities. Hope, love, understanding, listening, being able to bring justice and peace and reconciliation into reality, into the world. A change, not only in how we live here and now, but also a change in our thoughts for the future. How are we going to govern ourselves? How is the changes to our government in the near future going to occur? What things should we be looking for in Christ? Because it is in Christ that we bring justice to the world, it is in Christ that we bring peace to the world, and it is in Christ we bring love and understanding into the world. So let us enjoy the remainder of this service, this time of joy, of singing, of listening, 
of hearing God's voice clearly in the background. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this time together. We ask you to give us hope in the coming season that we may carry that through into the new world of the future. We ask this through Christ, our incarnate Lord. Amen.
the sixth lesson is, <coughs> excuse me, the sixth lesson is from Luke. In that region there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours.
The seventh lesson is from Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born in King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the, hand of, in the land of Judea, of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for whom you shall come a ruler, who is to be, who is to be my, who is to be shepherd, my people of Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying. Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen, that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
The eighth reading is from Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learnt and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Our final lesson comes from John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, 
and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Before we go into our final part of the service, just a couple of announcements. There is refreshments in the hall afterwards, or there are refreshments in the hall afterwards. There are also CDs from Svalvox available. There are complications there, I think. The CD's not here, or? Okay. And James's number is there, so you can take that and make sure that he sends it to you if you wish it. Okay. I think, lastly, from this side, before I go into the final blessing and everything, I think we must say a very, very warm thank you to Swell Vox and for James Flores for coming across and giving this wonderful service once more this year. Thank you, thank you. Please stand for the final blessing. We believe that the Son of God once came to us. We took, him, took for him to come again. May his coming bring you the light of his holiness and free you with his blessing. May God make you steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and untiring in love all the days of your life. We rejoice that our Redeemer came to live with us and as man. When he comes again in glory, may he reward you with eternal life. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now I invite Swell Vox forward so that we can sing together the final hymn.